What's up guys? All right, so if you are a content creator and you edit video or you edit photos, hell, even if you play games, then you wanna stick around for this monitor review. Okay, so feast your eyes on the BenQ PD2700U. This is a 27 inch IPS 4K display, 4K at 3840 by 2160. The brightness is at 350. Native contrast is 1300 by one. It has a five millisecond response time, 100% sRGB Rec 709 color gamut. This has HDR10, and this is a 10 bit color monitor. It is created for designers in mind, and that's exactly what this monitor does. Okay, so from a design standpoint, I think it looks slick. Uh, the bezels are thin, the screen is matte coated, Installing this was extremely easy. All I had to do was hook up the monitor to the stand, it snaps on, and at the very bottom of it has one single screw that you can just tighten with your finger. The stand has height adjustment, it swivels, and has a 25 degree of tilt, and it has a landscape rotation. And taking this right out of the box, the cables that were included were HDMI 2.0, a display port 1.2, USB 3.0 cables, and a mini display port 1.2. IOs. It has a USB 3.1 Gen 1, four downstreams, two upstreams, HDMI 2.0, one display port at 1.2, one mini display port at 1.2, and one DP out. So the mini DP is also equipped with Thunderbolt 2, and that's for users with a Mac computer. So it's definitely compatible with Macs. This thing's been hooked up to my iMac Pro. Uh, it also hooks up to my MacBook Pro. You just need certain adapters for it because it does not have USB Type-C in this monitor. Considering the price point, the value that this monitor provides, it, it doesn't matter. Grab an adapter, it'll work. All right, so let's talk about button control. So the menu system is intuitive in terms of how you want to view whether any kind of creative content you have. And that's one thing I love about this menu system. If you're editing photos or if you are editing videos, you can use these different profiles to get the look that you're looking for, whether you're in a dark room, or if you're working in animation or CAD. The dual view allows you to have on the same screen different looks so you can compare between profiles. So let's talk about performance of this monitor. The IPS has no contrast or color shift. And as I set this up next to my iMac Pro, um, I really like to set, you know, to at least adjust the colors to that monitor so that way it's as accurate as possible, especially after using the Data Color Spider 5. Out of the box, it was so close of a match that I've ever seen in any other monitor for color comparison. And I love that this monitor, the HDR, actually kicks in automatically if you're viewing HDR content. With this sheet here, it shows that it comes with a gamma curve of 2.2. I actually had to change that 2.4 just to get it at the point I wanted for the darks and blacks to hit exactly the way it looked on my iMac Pro. But besides that, color accuracy is phenomenal. And that is a joy for all photo editors and video editors who like to color grade and have a reliable monitor that can give you that color that you really, really want. And another really cool feature in this 27 inch monitor is if you have two PCs or two Macs, you literally can hook up both computers to this monitor and use a single mouse and keyboard with the KVM technology that they have in the monitor. And that's useful if you have one PC rendering and the other one working for GUI or something like that. That's where that this can really shine if you use KVM. So let's talk about this monitor for video editing. Video editing with this is a beauty. The colors are accurate, the blacks are deep, and if it wasn't for my iMac Pro display, I would use this monitor as my primary display. For the money that you are buying this monitor for, the value that comes out of it, if you're a professional videographer or if you're a photographer and you're relying on the color accuracy of an image, this monitor is the best bang for your buck. It blows my mind that you can get a monitor this affordable at this price for a 4K display that is geared towards designers and professionals. Gaming on this, I grabbed my Xbox One X as a console game and I was playing Red Dead Redemption. If you haven't played that game, what are you doing? <laughs> what a fun game. And I hooked it up because I wanted to see what it looked like with the HDR10 and just the color act, I mean, just what it looked like. And it looked phenomenal. So if you're looking for a monitor that, you know, if you're used to playing at 120 hertz or 144 hertz monitor or even a 240 hertz monitor, this, it's, 
I mean, it gives you the colors, it gives you the contrast. You'll get a great looking gaming uh, experience, but just know the limitations of the 60 hertz when gaming. But on the Xbox One X Red Dead, I loved it. So that is everything about this monitor. Freaking love it. The best bang for the buck. This is, you get so much value from this monitor. I keep saying that, and it's because it is true. The value that you get, all the features that you get for this monitor. If you're a content creator, designer, don't look any further. Buy this monitor. You will praise me for it. You will love it, and seriously, you will enjoy it. So even though BenQ sent me this monitor, I was not paid to do this video. All my thoughts and opinions are my own. But if you are in the market for a professional monitor on the low budget, this is a fantastic monitor to purchase. The PD2700U, get your hands on this. If you're looking for a beautiful monitor that gives you accurate display, you will not be disappointed. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. You know what to do if you didn't. And besides that, my friends, I will catch you guys in the next video.